Sound, sound rolling, and action. Sound speed. Welcome to Drunk Movie Day, everybody. The web series where we have a comedian over, have some drinks, and go to the movies, come back, talk about the movies, and then I edit the shit out of it. It's November, Thanksgiving's over, it's not quite the holidays. I don't know where I'm going with this, people. How's the movies going for you? Oh, that's good. I have a very funny comedian on the show today who's going to come to the movies with me and get drunk. She's very excited to be on the show, and I'm just as excited to have her on. You can see her every Sunday at the Fox Cabaret with the Sunday service. You can also see her counting money stacks as she walks down the street. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Caitlin Howden. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, hi. Thanks for having me. I'm so happy to have you on the show. Oh, I'm so excited to go to the movies with you. It's the stories, you know? I love a good story. Sometimes what I like, the dark room and I lose myself in it. Do you love movies? I hate movies. <laughs> I have a very strange love-hate relationship with movies. Yeah. I remember liking them at one point in my life. Uh, I want you to know I will get a popcorn and I will be putting a topping on the popcorn. What kind of topping are we talking? The salt and vinegar powder flavored stuff. Do they stuff. still have those? Yes. I love it. When I went to the movies, my dad used to, he would say, fill the bag half full, then put butter, then fill the bag to the top, and then butter on top. What's your thought about Chicago uh, mix popcorn? I love a Chicago mix. Yeah. Now, I, I love it especially when it's made that way already. I don't like getting cheddar and then getting caramel and putting it in a bowl. So just loose cheddar and loose thick caramel that you pour that's, all over? That's no not e or just even caramel popcorn. Oh, I see what you it's mean. When it's it's got to be together. It's got to be sitting together for a bit of time. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Pop Talk. This is pop -talk now, but it's more than that to me. Caitlin, today's movie could go two ways. Actually no, it's going to be bad. How do you feel about magic? Like the prestige? No, no, no. How do you like children's magic? Like tricks and, and deception? Sure, we'll go with that. Today we're going to be seeing the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them too. What? It's a Harry Potter prequel. No, I don't even know Harry Potter. I didn't bring you on because you knew Harry Potter. I thought this was a Harry Potter based thing. It's got Jude Law, creepy Johnny Depp, and that guy who was in Jupiter Ascending who whispered a lot. Oh, find them! Double our security deployment to destroy any ship that comes near the planet. Ah! Probably gonna be four hours long. No! Probably. No! Remember when you were excited to be on the show? Okay, so it's about magic. Should we do mushrooms instead of drinking? Well, don't worry, we'll just double up on these drinks. Now, what's it called again? Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, The Crimes of Grindelwich or something. Cheers. Cheers. Shall we? Let's start a small fucking fire. <laughs> the wizarding and non-wizarding worlds have been at peace for over a century. Kyle just put his finger in the shot. What? You put your finger in there. In this? Yeah. How else do you test it? Nope, I'm good. Good night, everybody! Ba da ba ba da, ba da ba ba da, ba da ba 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 Kill yourself. Mommy, I'm drunk. Never trust the French with humor. We're back from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them: The Crimes of Green Greenwich. Fantastic Beasts and don't bother finding them. They're fine. It's hard to get into this movie because it's a. Um, Excuse it, me. Yeah. <laughs> I guess people were excited for this movie. Were they? Were you? Were you excited to see Fantastic Beats? Hun, I found this Fantastic Beat. Ah, uh, finally. Looks like we'll be okay after this apocalypse after all. You know what? Let's jump into the movie based on characters because I've got a list of characters I have issue with. Wait, what are you writing down? Hi. That's just a pentagram. <laughs> These are the characters' names. Are you ready for them? <laughs> Newt, Grindelwald, Credence, Theseus, Queenie, and then Travis, Lisa, and Tina. Tina. Do the theme to Harry Potter. Bung, 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 bung,
Okay, now do the theme to the Fantastic Beasts, whatever we just saw. When we do a dreamy fade to Hogwarts, <gasps> and then we hear the bum 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 bum, and the woman behind us, who has been loving this movie the whole time, goes loving it. <gasps> Harry, Harry Potter. Potter! Mid movie. Mid movie. Happened. This movie dealt with a lot of things that. So this is <sighs> this at, movie. At the heart. <laughs> it's a, what? Mo- what? Did we guys have to know if dealt with this movie. One thing. This movie was all plot and no interest. Hey, how about some like odd sexual tension? The thing about magicians is that they are asexual. It's what I love about a magician. Their tricks are not about like, I'm going to cut this person in half because we've had a bad relationship. They please men and women. But Ugh. so you know what when I said? you cut somebody in half and then say, I'm going to fuck the bottom half. Then there's, a, there's ownership there. That was a weird scene in this movie when they did that. Also, this movie, it took place in what, the 1940s? No, 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 because it was before World War II because the bad guy vaped World War II into existence before everybody. Yeah, touch on that, At one point, Johnny Depp vapes out of a skull. You ever seen somebody so out of touch with what's actually cool in pop culture these days (laughs) that they become a 55-year-old man who wears trinkets and bleaches their hair and decides that their character is going to vape out of a skull? They vape all of World War II into the in, into the arena, it, but it's just smoke. It's just smoke. A war. Uh, also, this this entire movie was was developed by a Disney name generator. I'm sure of it. We're like, you know, you go to Disneyland and they're like, what's your Disney name? It's your first street with your wish as a child. So my Disney name would be Richard Stable Paycheck. Mine would be Stanley. Wish my parents were still together. Play a song under this. Hey. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, we're done. I'm killing it out. No, you know what? No, you know what? No, fuck this. I have more to say. I have more to say. This movie had zero background information. Zero character development. Zero... I'm an adult man in my 30s. I have so much trouble (laughs) following anything that has a narrative. Remembering faces. Remembering names. Ah. Anything like that. Yeah. This movie asks children to do what I cannot do. I wrote Johnny Depp fake eyes. His eyes are fucking fake. And you know what? That's the sign of a snake. Is someone who's like, oh, are you a fucking snake in the world? Where your eyes aren't real? People who wear fake contacts. People who wear snake contacts. Let me see this right now. If you're dating someone and they have those snake eyes contact lenses, end it. Ooh, I had this written down. Glenn doesn't know how to be around people. Okay, so I had a bit of a coughing fit in the theater. You kept pointing to yourself and saying, look at me, I'm coughing. No, I get ready to go, I'm fine, I'm fine. I didn't care who won, and I hoped it was all a dream. It had a stupid title. It had a stupid plot. There was no fucking script. If you want to take improv classes, go to blindtigercomedy.ca. Caitlin Howden. Yes. Out of 10, Johnny Depp playing guitar (laughs) with a shitty bar band. What would you give this movie? Oh, I'd give this movie uh, a sandwich that got too wet and so now the bread is wet. Should we still eat this wet sandwich? I wouldn't. If you're a monster, you would. 
So eat a wet sandwich if you want to eat a wet bread sandwich. If you want a sandwich where oh, all the bread's a bit wet, have at it. Well, Kyle, I, I want to go home. Okay, well, that's okay, too well, bad. Okay, well, Kyle, well, good no, to see you. No. Okay. No, you live here now. Okay, see you, buddy. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Kate out. Peace out. Bye-bye. Hey, down, down. I'm just getting my beer. Yeah. Catch Kaylin Hunt every week. It's a Sunday service at the Fox Cabaret. Um, she's currently stealing books from my apartment. I need these. Nope. Don't need that. Uh, December 8th, if you're in Vancouver, come to Low Mountain Gallery. Caitlin will be there as well. We're doing the first ever Drunk Movie Day Presents straight to DVD. It's a show about people doing scenes from fake movies. This isn't the end of me and you, or you and I, because on December 8th, I'm coming to do a show with you. And on December 8th, I'm going to be helping Kyle, who's very, very sick. It's basically this show, but with fake movies. And you're going to love it because Christine Bordelin's doing it. Some of Vancouver's finest comedians. And then also whoever was available is doing it. Help Kyle because he's so, so sick. (coughs) See you next time. Unlock your door. I want to leave. Unlock your door. I want to leave. Give me your jewels.